Hello, today we will learn how to create this loop animation in PowerPoint. Let's start by creating a new blank slide. Next, I will enable the guidelines. Click on the vertical guide, drag it to the left edge of the slide. I will add one more vertical guide. Drag it to the right edge. Now, let's add the image and align it in the middle. Hold Option and Shift while dragging right to create a copy. Let's make one more copy. I will select all of them and create a group. Then, let's scale it up. and align it to the left. Now, let's add the animation. I will select the draw line option, left click here, and drag it to the vertical guide. Focusing on this part, I will click on the green dot and drag it down. We need to align this with the left vertical guide. Once it matches, I will hold down the shift button and release the mouse. Why do we do this? If we just draw random lines, the background animation won't start properly, as you can see here. The background animation suddenly moves to the left. Compared with the right way, it's smoother. Continue. I will adjust the animation by clicking on this shape to access the animation pane. It will start with the previous with a duration of 30 seconds. Let's turn off the smooth start and end. For the timing, I will select repeat until end up slide. Now, let's insert the 3D model. I will find the Earth model and insert it. I will scale it up, move it to the right, rotate it. Next, we will add the animation. I choose the turntable effect, starting with the previous. Set duration to 45 seconds. Select animation pane, turning off the smooth start and end. I will select repeat until end up slide. Next, I will insert an oval, align it, and scale it up. I will fill it with black color. Turn off the outline. Select the format pane. Click on gradient fill. The oval shape doesn't fully cover the earth. Let's increase its size then rotate it to the left. I think it needs to be brighter. Now, I will insert a rectangle shape. Turn off the outline. Let's select the fill color, and more colors. Click color sliders, and change it to RGB sliders. We will use this hex code, 3B5783, then set the transparency is 80%. Next step, let's add the title. We will use DM Serif Display, font size 55, and change the color to white. I will type Blue Planet, expand the frame, and center the text. Next, I will duplicate it. Change the text to beauty. Now, we will add a horizontal line. To do it, we hold shift while dragging the line. Change the color to white. Select format pane. And change the width to 1.2. Next, let's add more text. The font size is 20. 
The color is white. And I will type team project. I will set the spacing to 1 and center the text. Now, we select all these objects. Let's align them to the center. And adjust their positions. I will change the color of this text to blue. Now, let's create the animation. Click on the rectangle, select the animation tab, choose the wipe effect, and change the direction from the left. For the title, I will use the split effect with a horizontal out direction. In the animation pane, Select Blue Planet. Set it to start after the previous. With a duration of 0.75 seconds. Set the same duration for Beauty. Now, select both. Then choose Animate Text by Letter. For the line, I will use the Wipe effect. Change direction from the left. Starting with the previous, and the duration is 0.75 seconds. For the last text, I will use the peak in effect with a direction from the top. It also starts with the previous with a duration of 0.75 seconds. All right, let's start the slideshow to see how it looks. It seems good to me. That's all for today. Please hit the like button if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.